You are looking at an untold story that burns below the surface across America. You are looking at West Virginia's version of Chernobyl. This fracking waste treatment plant in Fairmont, West Virginia opened in 2013 as Fairmont Brine. Executives boasted about the plant and the facility won an industry award for innovation. Five years later, Fairmont Brine went out of business and left a site deeply contaminated. That's maxed out? Yeah. But 6,000? 6,000. Samples we gathered here reveal parts of this site are more contaminated with radioactivity than most of the Chernobyl exclusion zone. 0.9 milligrams per hour. Many people don't realize, but a lot more comes to the surface at a well than just the oil and gas. Across the U.S., 3 billion gallons of wastewater a day, often loaded with enough radium to be legally considered radioactive by EPA. My reporting has shown that time and again, these plants have failed to treat the complex brew of radioactivity, metals, salts, and toxic chemicals inherent to fracking waste. At Fairmont Brine, there was really nothing to protect us from radiation. Radium wasn't talked about at all. What do we do? What do we this is just the beginning. My upcoming book, Petroleum 238, Big Oil's Dangerous Secret and the Grassroots Fight to Stop It, is the result of a seven-year reporting journey. Radioactive oil-filled waste has been spilled, spread, dumped, injected, and freely emitted across America. The book relies on community activists, industry workers, scientists and academics, and over 100 years of academic research and also never-before-published industry and government documents to provide a series of game-changing reveals into the world's most powerful industry.